Whoa. All right. Let's get started here. Uh, I'm fancy actually, and I don't have to wear headphones when I'm recording. On today's episode, <laughs> um, I'm going to be my guest here, Philip Walter. He's over here. He is a corgi. Um, yeah, he. we are going to be talking about some Apple Card, Apple Card monthly installments, all the goods today. And I know that a lot of people are really going to be interested in this. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. You know, it is so easy to apply for it. I've applied for it. Did not get approved, <laughs> which is a big bummer, but I did not. Um, and you know, that's okay. It only takes about what one minute easily. I think mine took like 20 seconds since I got denied, but that's fine. There's no fees, there's no hard credit check unless you're approved for it, and then you accept the terms and all of that stuff. So, there's no hard credit check. <laughs> I think the coolest thing about the Apple Card is that you control everything through the wallet app. Everything is super private, Apple, Goldman Sachs, no one can see any of your information. You can pay any of your bills, upcoming payments, all can be done through the wallet app. You can do direct transfers, direct payments with your checking or savings account. Another cool thing too is since you're getting cash back, 3% on Apple products, 2% using Apple Pay, 1% using the Apple card, anywhere. So you're getting money back, no matter what you're spending, no matter what you're doing. Cool thing is that just goes directly to the Apple Cash card. That means that, right, I know, Phil, see Phil's barking, he's stoked about it. He was like, what, cash back? Anyway, I'm like just getting lower and lower. I don't have a desk. <laughs> what was I saying? Apple card. Yes, yeah, so you get cash back. It goes directly to your Apple cash card. And you can even use that money that you're getting back to pay for your payments. Like if you're like buying expensive stuff on Apple card, 3%, it can be a lot of money. If you're buying those bigger purchases, if you're, you know, a baller with an extra dollar. Another cool thing. There's so many cool things. I wish I could get this card. <laughs> Another cool thing about the Apple card. Oh, is that it tells you exactly how much interest you're gonna pay depending on how much you're paying off at that time. It's not like, you know, other credit cards. The main point is that the Apple card is not like other credit cards. Am I right, people? Am I right, Philip? Can we talk about the physical card and how it's made out of titanium? If you try and drop that thing, it makes a specific sound. So cool. There's also a not a card number, which adds to the security of it. You know, if you lose it, you can lock it from your phone. Like, tell me another credit card that you can lock it from your phone and literally you can't use it. Like, no, you always have to call the bank and tell them that you lost it and then they have to like cancel that card and then... Let's talk about how easy it is to get help with Apple Card. In the wallet app, there is a message little icon. You can tap message. Um, and it's instantly going to connect you to someone that works for Goldman Sachs. It's an Apple card specialist. So they're going to know exactly how to help you out. And you can ask them anything. You can ask them how to change your address. You can ask them what to do in the case that your card's stolen or lost. And they can kind of walk you through that. There's no wait times. There's no passwords. There's no knowing your mother's maiden name in order for them to access your account. Um, customers, Phil. Phil's stoked. See, he's like, yeah, people are going to freaking love it. Customers hate waiting. Am I right? Apple card monthly installments. Let's talk about that when people are wanting to buy new products at Apple. 
You can do monthly installments. 0% interest APR for 24 months when you do monthly payments. That's two years. That's a long time. Wow. Huh. I think, you know, the main things that people should really take away from Apple Card is financial help. It's unlimited daily cash back. So that goes directly to your Apple Cash Card, which is different than your Apple Card. Obviously, Apple Pay. If you don't use Apple Pay, get with it. Apple Pay is the bomb and it makes it so easy, especially during this time of wanting to avoid touching things. You can just tap that. Watch me smack that all on the floor. Apple Pay and it is going to pay for it. Hands free, germ free. The security thing I think is huge. You know, no one can really see your information. No one can see what you're buying. No one can see where you're making these purchases except for you. For me personally, one thing I don't love about my bank is that they can literally see every transaction I make. They can say, hey, you made a transaction at McDonald's. And I'm like, hey, I don't need you calling me out for eating fast food. But yes, I did make a transaction at McDonald's. What about it? You know, as far as security goes, not having a card number is awesome. Obviously being able to lock your card, report it stolen or lost simply from your phone makes that so much easier. Long story short, the Apple Card's dope. It's dope. Everyone should get it. Simple, secure, streamlined. Goals. All right, Philip, come here. You have to make an appearance. Phil, come here. You have to make at least some appearance. Oh, oh. he is a chunky chunker. This was my guest. His little commentary in the background. Say thank you. Thank you. All right, have a great day next week on my uh, YouTube channel. We are going to talk about something else that's cool. So yeah, have a great day.